Hello and welcome back. Today we're taking a look around an ROC post and a World War II aircraft observation post. Come with me and let's take a look around. So here we have the ROC post. This one's at Cloughton, just outside of Scarborough. Um, opened in 1962 and closed in 68. A little look around. Still see some of the original paint. One of the air vents is pretty destroyed. Um, a lot of rubble down there. As you can see, the hatch is completely gone. Um, the hatch and the actual frame for it. So yeah, let's go down and take a look. Here we are down inside the bunker. As you can see, it's flooded, so I won't be going in there. Um, original door on the floor. The mount for the blast power indicator is still there. And the air vent slider. See the original doors there in the toilet slash storeroom. Pretty monkey down here to be honest. Don't like the colour of that water. Anyway, let's get out of here. As you can see, um, it's pretty stripped out down there. Um, I didn't really want to spend too much time. The water looked pretty monkey. Um, if the audio is terrible, that's because I've lost my uh, microphone muffler thing, the uh, mic cat. So I apologise. Um, let's take a look around the um, aircraft observation post from the Second World War. So here we have the aircraft post. Looks fairly good, I've not seen it with the windows on the side before. Let's go take a look around this side. And there's a big hole there. Don't know where that goes. Won't like to fall down it, that's for sure. Take a look around here. Looks like um, an earth, earthing strap. There's an air vent. Here we've got the blast wall in the entrance. Another window. Looks like they have window frames in there. Take a look. There you can see the steps leading up there to the opening in the roof where to look out. The walls appear to have been whitewashed. Don't know if that's original or not, probably is. Um, part of the original door frame with the green paint. There's the air vent thing that was seen. But I'm thinking about it now. I think that would have been for a stove. There'd been a stove down there. So it'd keep warm and make brews. A little bit more of the um, pipe work. 
Looks like a telephone line. That might have led to the bunker. Uh, they might have used the bunker and this during the Cold War, as well as the World War II. You can see the views that they've got from here. So they're covered on all angles. Let's take a look. Here we have where they stand with the binoculars and look out for uh, enemy aircraft. Plot which direction they were going and uh, altitude and stuff like that, and that get passed further along the line. There you can see the bunker. And these are the great views that they had here. You can see Scarborough Castle over there in the bay. It's in good condition is this post.